Hi everyone, welcome to today's quick tips. Today I will show you how you can blue anything using After Effects. So it's actually quite a simple method. As long as you follow these steps, you can go ahead and track and mask anything you'd like to blur out. So the footage that I'm using today, very special footage. I'm a very private person, but you guys get a little sneak peek. Uh, this is me in America at a Walmart. Um, I didn't actually know it was for people with mobility. I was told off. The guy, was, the security guy was like, this is not a toy. Um, but anyway, no regrets. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. All right, so we are going to blur out the branding that's on this mobility cart, so not a toy. Take your current type indicator back to the beginning. Go ahead and zoom right in just so we can see it clearly. And then ensure you have the layer highlighted. And then now next, go ahead and select the pen tool and go ahead and select the brand on there. Then next, click the letter M on your keyboard to open up the mask. Right click and click on track mask. So this will open up the tracker over on your bottom right hand side. Uh, go ahead and just ensure that you've chosen position, scale and rotation as the method. And then what I'm doing now is basically to, to track the mask, okay? So go ahead and hit the forward key that's in the tracker. And then also when you click on the selection tool, you have to deselect. And then notice what I'm doing. I am just selecting the track mask on there. Okay, so every time there's movement, you got to follow the track and manually move the mask, okay? So um, let me just reiterate you have to click on the selection tool and then next you have to deselect so just click out in the space and then go ahead and change your mask so basically what you will need to do now is quite a tedious process because obviously depending on the footage that you're using and how quickly that mask is moving you have to manually track it so as you can see on screen um, I am spending quite a bit of time doing this so you have to stop the tracking, manually click on it. Um, big hint, do not press the space bar because if you press the space bar, that's playing the footage. It's not actually tracking the mask. So you must manually click on the tracker on the right hand side. Okay, so go ahead, click it, click on it. And each time there's movement, um, click on it to pause the footage and then go ahead and change the mask points on screen. All right, so what I'll do is I'll fast forward this footage so you don't have to watch the whole thing, okay? So notice how just before I fast forward on the screen, I had to go ahead and click on none in the mask just because I needed a bigger overview to see what I'm doing. And notice how these, um, you can't see the branding on screen, so the hence why I'm just changing the mask to this, these little points. Okay, so let's go ahead and just fast forward this and then I'll um, go ahead and pause and talk about what you need to do next. So after you've finished tracking the mask, I'll go ahead and just zoom back out into full view. Um, and notice how at the bottom now where the mask is, I'm going to go ahead and change it from none to add. And then next, we just basically need to go add the blue effect. So go up to effects and select blue and sharpen and choose fast box blue. This opens up the option over at the left hand side. Go ahead and change the blur radius to whatever percentage. I'm putting in a value of 12. Head down over to the bottom. And then all you need to do now is go ahead and click on the plus button on compositing options. And then pretty much that's it. So what I haven't done is feather this. So you can go ahead and choose to feather your mask if you wish. 
But next, all we are going to do now is just preview this. So go ahead and zoom right out and we can go ahead and preview this blue effect. So that's all there is to this. You just basically want, you need to go ahead and select your mask, go ahead and track the mask, and then finally just add the fast box blur effect. So what I'll do is I'll show you the final preview of what this looks like. Alrighty, so here's the final result that you see on screen. So, done a pretty good job, if I can say so myself. Well, I missed out a little bit there, but that's all good. Uh, so, just one more little background info um, on this whole saga. I uh, didn't realize until the end that the scooter was in charge, so it was going ridiculously slow. Um, but yeah, lots of uh, different reactions from other shoppers. Um, but anyway, and shout out to my friend who was super embarrassed trying to film this, but you know, got to get the footage for the gram, right? <laughs> Alright, so hope you enjoyed this. Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and like this video and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.